What's going on, Red Dog Man Dan here. We are going to talk a little bit about Keystone. Just some thoughts. Don't really know much about the game at all. Uh, we know that it's from uh, that DE is making this game. It's just been announced. Uh, we know that this is where Drew went over to. It's a pretty exciting opportunity for Drew. So again, you know, congrats to him for being chosen to move on to this team and to everybody that's working in this team um, for what this game is going to be. We know that it is a first-person action deck-building strategy type game, free team-based shooter, or more or less a hero shooter, which has suddenly become all the rage. Um, please do feel free to leave comments below throughout this. Uh, I'll, I'll try to answer what I can. Um, but we don't know much yet. We haven't gotten into the game. It's This is coming up on a closed alpha testing, so there's not going to be a lot of information out there. Not really going to be allowed to release any information. No video footage, no pictures, none of that stuff. So, you're going to have to wait it out while the people that do have access to the closed alpha will be in there actually play testing the game. This is This is a true test. Alphas are true testing environments. There are many bugs, many issues, many things that need to be addressed. Very limited amount of stuff that you can and can't do. Things are constantly changing inside the game um, to see and try out different stuff. A lot of times when I've played alphas in the past, there's been many that have never made it out of the alpha stage. They just failed during the alpha stage. It just wasn't something that was going to happen. And Even after you put in those years and years of work, to try to get to a game that comes out of development, it doesn't always happen. Um, so we'll see. I mean, this will be really since since Digital Experience Students DE's gotten so big, this will be their first really big thing after Warframe. Um, I would suspect they've been working on this for several years. We know they've been working on it for several years because a couple of years ago somebody actually snuck into the studio and found that they've been working on this game. Now, a couple things. Number one, remember, and I've said this in videos in the past, Digital Extremes DE sold 100% of Warframe over to Liu last year. They finalized that last year. They sold the remaining shares of the company. They no longer own the rights, if you will, to Warframe. They still publish it. They still do the updates. They still do all that. But the Chinese corporation now has the control over that game. Keystone is still 100% DE. They have full control over this game. Okay, and what happens to it for now. So, we'll see where that goes. Um, I'm excited. I mean, it is a free game. You know, yeah, sure, you're gonna ha you have Paladins out there. And I think this is probably going to be closest to that, that particular hero-based uh, shooter, if you will. I mean, you can take it all the way back to, like, Team Fortress. I mean, that's when it originally started, right? But you got Overwatch, and you got that Battleborn that just pretty much died. I never even, never even looked at Battleborn. And I love my Overwatch. Um, I played Lawbreakers just this past weekend. Um, it was okay. Uh, it was pretty fun. It was very fast-paced, that type of stuff. But, um, you know, it's always good to see a whole bunch of different games get into it and we'll see what the kickers are in this game uh, that makes it stand out right because that's what you're going to be looking for you're going to be looking for a game that's going to definitely stand out now thing is DE's got a huge player base from Warframe that they can utilize into this game so you're going to have a lot more people that if you sign up for Alpha you may have a bigger group of people that can actually play test Alpha Versus back in the day when Warframe was in alpha stage and there was not that many people playing it. Uh, you know, so you have a bigger group to work with. I'll have a link in the description as well for you guys to uh, click over um, through me and, and see if you get yourselves registered. See if you get yourselves into the game, uh, the alpha testing. And just keep in mind, it is definitely an alpha testing, okay? You know. And you can lose your account and everything if you actually physically release information about the game that you're not supposed to during the NDA, and you got to respect that. Um, so we're going to have, uh, obviously we're going to have champions is what they're going to call them, you know, just like any, any type of hero shooter these days, or 
MOBAs, if you will, um, you're going to have different maps. You're going to have different environments. What are these characters or champions going to be like? What roles are they going to be? You know, are they going to be assault class, healer class, controllers, um, tanks? Well, that's all yet to be determined. Uh, what we're going to have access to and what we're going to see. Uh, game modes, what game modes we're going to get to play. Um, what maps are going to be available. Um, and, and how it's going to look, even. We just don't know all of it other than that one little page that we've seen. Um, and it's even been very limited there. No access to the actual private forms just yet. Um, but, again, we just got to wait for that alpha. Yeah, I'm going to be in the alpha. Um, if this game does continue through, you know, you'll be able to find me in there. I won't be hard to find. I'll be under my standard alias, which is me. Not hard to find at all. Um, I suspect that there will be a lot of other um, current partners, uh, Warframe partners, that will be in here. Um, obviously, they contacted us and they let us know. So that's just being upfront. And we are by far one of the most involved within uh, the whole relationship with the developer, obviously, being partners. We spent a lot of time. So there is that respect, right? So it's kind of cool. But I mean, I'll share with you what I can. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think it's 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 expected. You new team members would move from one game to the next. They need to shift. They need to keep. This is business after all. So they need to keep their things rolling and going. Um, and this could be the next generation of game. You know, uh, how long Warframe holds out, we don't know. I mean, like I said, typical, and I've said this over and over, typical free game life cycle is around five years. It's been that way for for a while now, ever since they started making free-to-play games. If your game is successful, your average life cycle somewhere around five years. So, before you have that really big fall-off and the game development is pretty much done, or it starts dying down, that type of stuff. So, of course they're going to want to work into what's what's the next version of what they're doing, or the next game that they're going to try to play with and work with. And this is probably what it is. Um, I'm excited. Like I said, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that to you. Hopefully I'll get to see some of you guys in the, the alpha, um, where everybody will have, obviously, private access to those special forms, a lot of things to talk about. And if you've never really playtested a game, there is a lot involved in doing it. Um, <clears throat> but please do feel free to leave comments, again, questions, any of that stuff below. And what can be shared, I'm sure we'll share with you. Uh, what can't be shared, obviously, won't be shared until the, the open testing or it goes into the beta testing or the NDAs get removed to where we can actually showcase content and really talk about it and that's when you really find out what the status of this is you know um we don't know whether it's just peer-to-peer -peer, which i hope the god it's not because these are going to be play you know this player versus player so i hope it's hosted servers that's the biggie um we don't know how the whole thing's going to work out how deck building's going to work what you're going to be able to buy what you're going to be able to get for free obviously Everything has to be available for free when it comes to actual content that could affect your gameplay. Uh, fashion stuff, no, doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be free. That's how they would make their money off of fashion, and and that's just the way every game is, right? So, anyway, I wanted to just put my my two cents in there for now. Um, I'm excited about it. I uh, can't wait to get in and uh, do my part again, if you will. Um, and I'll keep you guys informed on, uh, things that come on. Until next time, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you later.